So ESport actually just released a new prayer clear written scorecard and oh my god I am seriously disgusted by this one like EA needs to put the fans emotions in perspective like the ratings were just the ratings were just everywhere they were just everywhere like do these guys actually sit down and watch football and decide to put out such ratings for we to play it's terrible hey guys it's your boy Zika Junior um, welcome back to this channel um, football fans frenzy and if you're new to this channel um, welcome to the channel triple f like we like to call it over here um, please do well to subscribe to the channel also hit the notification bell so you get notifications whenever I put out a new video um, also smash a like on the video and leave a comment down below I'll show you guys my where I have serious issues with the new release um, player ratings for FIFA 21 it is terrible like they really need to do better I wonder where they just sit down and I don't know put up these ratings from like do these guys watch the same football that we all watch um like I said earlier I'm really disgusted by the player ratings put out by EA Sports for FIFA 21 so guys um oh yeah before we continue i got something to show you guys it's not all anger throughout this video anyway so i got something that is showing you Damn. i actually made these um football fans frenzy um number one and then below zk junior yeah so i really like this and um let me know guys if you like this and um I want to actually do a video making exhibitions of jerseys you should actually get this season. Trust me, I do not like any Manchester United jersey this season. Oh, the other one is, the other one is popularly called the Zebra jersey or Tom Tom, like my Nigerian friends would call it. But I really don't think any Man United jersey this season is cool anyway. But anyway, I got this and um, it's really fine. I think I'm more interested in the right of, of course, football fans, frenzy and Ziki Junior than the jersey itself. So um, let me know if you like um, what was written on Jesse. If you like it and if you would love to have one, we can um, actually get you one for just a little fee. So the highest rating, the highest rating in FIFA 21 is Lionel Mercy. It was actually rated 93 with 85 pace, 92 shots, 91 pass, 95 dribble, 38 defense, of course, and physicality 65. This is really quite good, even though I feel that Messi and Ronaldo should have been put on the same rating. But it's fine, they actually put Cristiano Ronaldo in number 2 with uh, 92 OVR with 89 pace, um, short 93, pass 81, 89 in dribbling and 35 difference with 77 physicality. Um, of course, they put Lewandowski just behind Messi and Ronaldo at, 80, at 91, sorry. Um, so you know, for that's that. Um, the other ratings now, I really have serious issues. So he actually gave Jojo Shielini 87 OVR in FIFA 21. Like this guy literally mixed most, missed most part of the season. Like he practically had no um, um, no hand in what Juventus achieved last year, even though they didn't really achieve a, a lot. But 87. For a year streaking with injury, this is so not fair. And then they actually reduced Paul Poba to 86. Or is it five? They actually reduced Paul Poba to 86 OVR. Like, how does that work? How do you practically leave Jojo Cellini at 87 and then drop Paul Poba to 86? Oh, yeah. And then the one that is getting the whole world pissed is the fact that these guys left Fremiho at 87 Roberto Firmino was rated 87 I wonder what they gave Ings I think it was 79 or something Lukaku was rated 85 like how do these guys even do this rating like I don't understand it Lukaku had a terrific season, season even though I'm not his biggest fan it's over 30 goals that was it yeah about 30 goals last season there about and then he's rated 85 same as Marcus Rashford and Firmino is being rated 87 Firmino is Vardy is rated 86 like how does this even work how many goals did Firmino actually score last season now Marshall was rated behind Firmino Marshall was given an OVR of 84 which is disgusting considering the fact that you are rating Rashford at 85 
This guy had a better season than Marcus Rashford. He both played the same amount of games, that one games in Premier League, and Masha had more goals OVR in all um, competitions than Marcus Rashford. And then you are rating Rashford at 85 and Masha at 84. I think the ratings are just everywhere. I think EA needs to do a lot to actually because I don't know, do they watch a separate football from what we the fans watch? I really find this annoying. It's just unfortunate that we are in this. It's more like this um, toxic relationship where you are so angry at whatever your partner is giving to you, but then you still stay. It's just unfortunate that we are all still going to play EA FIFA, 20, FIFA 21, but it is just terrible. Like, Sunday was rated 85. Sunday did not play even a single game last season for Manchester City, and he's rated 85. Marshall is rated 84 and Vardy is rated oh my god Vardy is rated at 86 he was the top scorer in the EPL and then Pamio with very few amount of goals is being rated higher than Vardy he's being rated higher, higher than Danny Ings he's being rated higher than Marshall come on guys who are we kidding like this is football and we all watch the same football and I don't understand how EA can actually put out this crap for us to play and they never listen to fans opinion anyway they, they're still not improving on their on their career modes and it's just terrible it's just terrible that we still have to pay so much to get these things this this game and it's still gonna be the same crap oh my god i'm done with this <laughs> like i actually made this video because a lot of people asked me to do this video I wasn't interested in this video because it actually gets me mad. The ratings are just garbage. And I think EA needs to work on this. We hope that they actually correct this before putting out dumb lips.